So we are about to plow through the animation tutorials as fast as possible. But before we do, there's one more thing that I thought you should know. And that is deleting animations you don't need anymore. Now originally I wasn't gonna cover this, but enough of you guys brought this up in the comments last video and the answer is so ridiculously unintuitive that I believe it's unreasonable to expect the average user to figure this stuff out without looking it up. So here we go. Most of you have probably noticed that when you make a new animation, it ends up in a list here. And sometimes you make a shitty animation and that's fine happens to the best of us all the time but when you try to get rid of it most reasonable people would intuitively assume that the X button would delete the animation that you are currently working on and rightly so since that's literally what X means in any software ever created I mean for God's sakes even Microsoft Apple and Google who hate each other all agree on their web browsers that X is what you click when you want to get rid of something for good but no, not in Blender. You press this button, not only does that not happen, the animation is still wasting space on your list. As it turns out, you're supposed to hold shift before you left click the X to really delete your animation completely. Otherwise, it just halfway deletes it by unlinking the animation from the name. For reals? Like, holy shit. How is anyone supposed to know that without being told? The shift click version of this button really needs to be the default command. I don't know a single person in my entire software career that's ever wanted to halfway delete a file of anything. Also, apparently, even if you perform the shift click version of the X button, it won't affect anything until after you close and open the software again. Yes, you heard me. You have to close and reopen the software if you want to continue you working on your project without seeing the animation you just deleted continue to show up in your workflow. There's only one way for you to delete the animation without having to close and reopen the project and it goes something like this. The way Blender wants you to delete animations is by going up here to the top right, click on the icon that looks like a Microsoft Paint logo from 1995, go to this thing called Blender File, and from here you will see a list of a whole bunch of stuff you will probably never touch. But up here if you click on this thing called Actions, you will finally find the list of all your animations. Now just wait, it gets even better. When you finally see the animation you want to destroy and you try to take it out by clicking on it and pressing the delete key you know like a normal person would nothing happens that is right you can't just click on something and press delete no that makes too much sense you have to click on it then you have to right click and then you have to click on delete from the menu and wait there's more that's right I'm not done yet if you thought that was f awful as it turns out this is also the same way that you were supposed to delete your unused materials and again you can't just select one and press delete which means that if you have a bunch of materials that you don't want you literally have to delete them one at a time and it's not over oh yeah you probably noticed that if you go to the action menu that not only are your animations here your pose libraries are also in here why the f are these two things in the same list now I understand from a software developers perspective that blender saves pose libraries as separate frames of an animation but from the user perspective a pose library and an animation are totally different things I made four pose libraries for the face and hands but every time I want to use one I gotta waste time finding it in the middle of an ocean of unrelated animation and it's actually the same with the animation list sometimes you'll be going through your animations and you'll accidentally click on a pose library because the name puts it right next to an unrelated animation alphabetically. Now, this stuff had better be fixed in the next version of Blender because I am willing to bet my life that the vast majority of people who pressed this button expected it to delete their animation. And if you disagree with me on this particular detail, you are wrong. Objectively wrong. Subjectively wrong. Morally, ethically, and sexually wrong. And you should burn in Blender hell for all eternity in agonizing pain and sorrow. If this is not fixed by 2.9, we are gonna have a talk with your mother and she will not be pleased when she hears about the software atrocities you have committed against humanity. So, you have been warned. Anyway, that's how you delete animations. Don't ask me why. I don't call the shots, I'm just a messenger. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.